Hello, hummingbird enthusiasts. Today is your lucky day, and myself and a friend down in Cape Town have been holding this little secret dear to our heart. We've decided to release this to you guys. Google Earth history imagery, the easy way. No stretching and pulling and pulling, stretching and doing all sorts of funny things with images. We get it straight from Google Earth. Happy days. All right, to start, copy and paste that guy into this, into your uh, browser. Download Planet Release 160707. It'll come up in your downloads folder. And do the same with these other three guys. Copy and paste them, put them into the uh, folder. They'll automatically, these guys you just enter and they'll automatically download. <coughs> Once that's done, you then go to the download folder, sorry, the downloads folder. You open up SAS Planet, unpack it and put it, extract it and put it into your, I've got a mapping folder, big one. Do lots of mapping. There it is. Put it straight into your mapping folder, highlight the mapping folder and push OK and away it goes. It'll find its way into the mapping folder. You then take tile storage, GE and GC. WinRAR is expired. Extract. Take it to your mapping folder. Go down to your newly acquired SAS Planet folder and OK. You click OK. Put it in there. Same story with the GC. Put it in. Extract. Take it to OneDrive, to your mapping folder, wherever it may be. You each guy has got his own story. Put it in. Highlight the SAS Planet Release and click OK. It'll put it in there for you. Next, Geocache Direct. Small little folder. You take that and you right click cut that puppy now you need to go and find your mapping folder open it double click it up open it up open up maps right click paste it and as you can see i've already got it there then just to double check everything has been put in place correctly you go down to tile storage gc I'll show you GE. Make sure it's there. Life is good. You can then start up your SAS Planet. I'll get this warning. Obviously with your modification. Click OK. I'll start this puppy up. Russian style. <coughs> Alright, so... I was obviously ahead of the game here, and I have it on, this is Albert Falls Dam in Durban. Next thing you've got to do, you've got to go to Settings, Options, Cache, and make sure you put that, which is also in the descriptions below, and you go to, or, or you, could, you could do that description there as it stands, uh, or safer way would be to go to your browse for the folder uh, you go to desk you go to alan baker the user app data local low google google earth and okay click apply and okay and away you go now you're ready to rock and roll just remember you cannot download that history folder from sas planet on the internet you need to put it onto cache, which is referring to the cache folder on and in your Google Earth program, not in SAS Planet. You need it. It, need, it refers to the Google Earth program, downloads the images on Google Earth, and this program refers to Google Earth's cache folder. That's where you've just directed it to. If you put it on internet, not going to work. Internet and cache sometimes works, but cache is the way forward. 
Please remember that, ladies and gentlemen. All right, now we open up Google Earth. Always takes a while. Oh, going high speed today. All right, so she's rocking and rolling. We then uh, energize your. There's a couple of things you've got to take into consideration. There's a lot of different dates and pictures and images on Google Earth that confuse SAS. So what you've got to do is you've got to basically go to your dam, wherever it may be. We had uh, Albert Falls in there earlier. Albert Falls. KwaZulu Natal. You just go to KwaZulu Natal and have a look see. Oh, let's click the search button. Helps a little bit. And away we go. Moving in. And we are now looking at the most recent picture. Because we haven't got the historical image loaded. So this is the last guy that's that's on target here. Okay, so the dam's very empty because this guy over here is normally 20 foot odd, if I remember correctly. I haven't been there for some time. And it is obviously, as you zoom in, it loads the different pictures. As you can see them, they're getting clearer. So... When looking at the dam, you know, let's say looking at the dam here, you decide this is a lovely picture. This is the picture you want. No, 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 no. This is not the picture you want. You then go to historical imagery. Now, historical imagery is this tab over here. So we're looking at 29th of January 2000, more or less. It's not to say that that's the actual picture date. But in that region, that's what pictures back in those days were not very clear. I mean, you can have a look at that guy. It's not good at all. So here we go, move along town. Let's go to 2011. Ah, that's when the dam was nice and full. Because obviously now everybody's got the full picture. So, we then decide we want to now have... We want to pick a picture. Just move the slider. This is a different picture. Not a very good one. Don't really like it too much. Almost like black and white. Oh, a new picture. A little bit better. There's a bit of cloud cover. Yes, yeah, okay. We select. Now that is that dam at full tilt absolutely the 7th 17th of july 2014 that guy was full as you can get it full as you're going to get it i'm almost sure okay so you can say right i want a picture of that dam in full because obviously everybody's got a picture of it now empty <laughs> no, i'm just kidding but i'm just doing it for an example so you now have to go in and you say right this is the date that i want this is how i do it guys and it makes it a lot easier for you when it comes time for working out you can try it other ways but this is the easiest possible way you go to options cache clear the memory cache you can see the black goes clear and then it starts to load all the new pictures clear the disk cache <coughs> and you say okay you can see the dam is now loading all of its pictures from scratch because there's now no memory in google earth's cache no pictures it was cleared you just cleared it so you take that puppy and you zoom it out nice and far and then you zoom it in. 
I'm going to give you an example so you get it down to it's all about zoom levels you'll figure it out but experimenting with it in a little bit you can see in the corner here progress little bar you get your guy and you go through the dam and you basically as you're doing that you're downloading all of the pictures at that particular zoom level that you're at now when you go in it's a different zoom level different picture you can see them load up zoom in zoom out I found that at 5,000 foot, 5,700 foot, you get a nice zoom level 19. Remember, that's like the golden rule. The golden number is zoom level 19. So, you go and do it like that. In and out. You see the pictures clearing up nicely there. Everybody knows that story. Pixelation. This is uh, the hard part. Still zooming in, collecting some more data, making sure that you're getting all of those tiles. You can see them They're downloading nicely there. I like to use the arrow keys, makes it a little bit easier. You can see it downloading nicely. Okay, so I've been pausing the video for a little bit there because I don't want to bore you guys to death but you've actually got to go in and physically catch every single little little tile or little picture millions of little pictures that you've got to download onto your Google Earth and in your cache file folder that holds all of those little fold those little pictures that will be used in your SAS planet so let's say we got all of them. Well, let's hope we got all of them. And you'll soon find out whether you got them all or not. But now remember, 17th of the 7th, 2014. That's the that's the mark that you got to go to every single time. Just remember that. Because that's very important. All right, so now we close up. Okay, we've started up. So it's planet now. Going back to the dam in question, Albert Falls in Daban by the seaside. And what you've gone and done now is you have got all of those folders or all those tiles that you thought you or images that you thought you downloaded, and you thought you did a fantastic job because you went through it like and it took quite a while but the easy way to check it well is you go to the zoom level that you want let's say zoom level 18 that's pretty good it's not a bad zoom level it's a nice zoom level and you go in and you can see zoom level 18 that's what it will look like on your machine on your on your founder that will be the color or the clarity that you'll receive if you pull this down and you say mark existing tiles so all those with the marking that you've got there you'll see our zoom level 18 that has been downloaded there's a guy that hasn't been done there's a guy that hasn't been done there's another one all right and if you wanted to go to zoom level 19 which is really clear Oh, you didn't quite get all of them there, did you? Oh boy, so you'll have to go back to Google Earth and download those guys. So you close up the shop, open up Google Earth, and make sure you go back to that particular date 
and zoom in on those areas make a note make a mental note of where you got to download and go from there in any case i'm not going to do that you guys can experiment you'll soon find out how to do it takes a bit of time it takes a bit of getting used to take it from there all right so now same procedure as before you make a little polygon No, it's not that guy I want to uh, right, we're having a bit of a storing. We want a polygonal six sele selection. We then zoom in a little touch. Obviously you don't want to download unnecessary tiles. Zoom out a little Yeah. You don't want to down have too much junk on your machine. You could take a little more care. I'm just doing it at a little bit of speed to save some time. And away you go. Less tiles you have, less is on your machine, the better. Click happy. Tick for go and it'll bring up a box for you I'm not sure what happened there but anyway we've got a last selection and you say stitch JPEG click this puppy you go to your mapping screen again and we go to where's Albert Falls? Oh, I haven't even got one. Can you believe that? New folder. Albert Falls Dam. So you open. You then give it a name. Zoom level 18. History 4. Sorry, 17th. 07 2014 so that you've got a reference point so you know which one you've got you say save then does it make sure you go to zoom level 18 on that puppy map google earth make sure that's same as that and you go to you can either put it into a kml folder or a map folder like before i prefer it doesn't really matter, it's a relatively small dam, and you say start. Taking those little guys, making a little nice scrumptious machinery for you, and there we go, you have got your history image. Now that is a, f a full pool, obviously. Great, there we got it. You've got a picture now. Okay, cool. Now you got your picture. We move on to AutoChart Pro. You gotta have the Pro version, guys. You can't have standard version. Standard version doesn't have map and create Lake Master image. So you get your Pro version. Along with the Pro version, you get a, a zero line card and you insert that into your machine and once you've inserted it you will find the map changes to the zero line map and a it comes up with what's involved here if you have got a img folder in place you may delete it as a matter of fact you have to delete it in order to load an additional image because you can only have one image at a time you can rename those images if you want to you can do that that will be for another video all right you go to map go to create lake master image and i want to go to do up you go to mapping and our new albert falls mapping thing and it is 
you obviously open that depending on what you've selected in the previous SAS KML or MAP it doesn't have a, a Fugawi calibration file it's only got that so if you put it on map it's going to be not there if you put it on KML it will be there you select your fantastic newly acquired history map which is of the damn full and you click OK this will come up now if you've made your map too big that will not come up and you need to make your map smaller and possibly make it with two sections so you need to um, fiddle with that a little bit once that comes up you will find you are making a map it takes a bit of time okay it's finished so it says your Lake Master SD card was successfully updated. New chart data. Would you like to change the background display? You say OK. And then we will find that there it is over there. There it is. We'll see how it is available. That's what it pretty much will look like on your unit. Fantastic. Just to check again, you can go to your card and then you'll see now there's an image there. You can change that, you can right click and rename that to image, image 1 or 2 or 3 if I'm not mistaken. Let's just do it to image 3, just for sports. Alright, now we've got to take it to our unit and I will put it into my onyx and you can have a look see what it looks like okay guys so now this is uh, basically firing up your machine we're putting in our auto charge live zero lines card putting it straight into the slot doesn't really matter which one it is Put that guy in there. Beautiful little onyxes. Loving these guys. Just loving these guys. So, what do you want to do? You can go with your. I don't like to mess my screen up. Oh, it's on a new save location. Say confirm. Put your screen. You say yes. Touch screen. Go to your map. And you say right. We zoom out and we start looking for where we've put it in now the map we've done is in Albert Falls which is down in Durban by the seaside except inland we zoom into a couple of spots to show if that's I'm going to zoom in there because I'm at home I'm not anywhere near that's Midmar so we want to go there suspecting that that is there. and there you see it and then you go click on there and you go down to chart options click on chart options click on map data and you actually go to base layer and it gives you image number 3 there if you don't want it you go to default and it will take it away and it'll give you the standard uh, map zero line card which is not super accurate here in Africa uh, that's another video we have to make custom shorelines well, it's not necessary but if you want to put it into perspective there and zap that guy there like that and we say map data map overlays
Here's our little map. Up your dice. That's what you want. Zoom level 18. You can do it a better at 19 and it'll come out a little clearer. But that was just a little example for us to have a look at. And uh, we'll take it from there. Just another thing, guys and girls, while we got you here. This is the, obviously the, uh, it's a different dam. I've got a bit of, I haven't been down to Albert Falls to do the water chart living. But here you can see we've water chart, we've water charted over a little hump here. Um, and uh, there we go. That's pretty neat. If you have a look at it. Um, there's the, the low water level where you can actually see the hump and there's the water chart live hump and we go down to water chart live switch it off there's the hump there's the hump not too shabby We've got an idea what's going on. Okay, so that's basically it, guys. Uh, here you can see the image in uh, Window Photoshop Viewer. It's a basic picture with a georeference file. And if you zoom in real close, that's more or less what you'll see on your finder. Obviously, uh, Google Earth has only got its limitations. Whatever the limitations on Google Earth is what your limitations are on the f fish finder. So you can go drone imagery if you want to. Um, I think it's a hell of a lot of uh, time and effort. I'd rather spend that practicing fishing, to be honest with you. Um, in reality this is the quickest possible way to get google earth imagery onto your machine as far as i know about it unless you guys can inform me otherwise um so what i'd like you to do if you don't mind like and subscribe to my channel i've got a lot of uh, videos uh, due coming out and uh, maybe this will help you you can do bigger maps, uh, there's a lot of questions from our friend uh, Mr. Easton down in Durban. You can do very, very big maps if you really want to. Uh, it's possible. Uh, and uh, if you need to know how to make those, uh, if I get enough requests, I will do another video with that uh, in mind. And uh, we can take it from there. Have a lucky day. And subscribe and like my channel, please.